Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm reacting to the first music video for Zara Bonici's song Loop, which is of course representing Malta with Ad Eurovision 2024. I did react to the live performance. If you want to see her reaction, you can go and watch it right up here. But in this, in this video, we're going to be focusing on the revamp and the official music video for the song. And also now it has been added to Spotify, which they had not done with the old version. But it makes sense if you want to change the version, you kind of want to wait until the version is ready until you can post it on Spotify. So I forgive them, but because of that, the song is really not one of the ones I listen to a lot because it's just not really easy accessible to listen to. You have to go to YouTube to listen to it, which I'm just not listening to music on, on YouTube. I'm listening on Spotify when I'm like on my way somewhere. So yeah, I think the song is all right uh, and the performance was pretty great, but I feel like I need more to really, really love it. But um, without much further that, let's just get ahead with this reaction. We are pressing play. Ooh, okay. I like the beginning, really expensive. She has so much attitude um, in her voice. I gotta be honest, her like voice is just not like my favorite like tone of voice. Um, she's like a good singer, of course, I've heard the live performance was pretty good. It's just not like the type of like singer that I really dig, but she's still good. This is like my, my favorite part of the song, this like pre-chorus. Ooh. Okay. I think those like things in the background um, have been added. I don't remember hearing them in the original soundtrack. She's such a good dancer, like an amazing dancer, honestly. Yeah, that has definitely been added to the song. I mean, I think the song is alright. I think it maybe it's moving up a little bit my ranking now. Especially when I can listen to it on Spotify. Like, it's gonna be a moment, you know? This really is gonna be a moment. She's such a good dancer. Ooh. We have the breakdown. Ooh, sexy, sensual. Oh my god, I love that imagery. Oh my god, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. Oh my god, I love that. I love that suit. Yeah, so there's some subtle changes to the song. It's not like it's the biggest revamp I've ever heard, but there's some subtle changes to kind of um, like amplify it a little bit, but yeah. Honestly, it's just a pretty decent song. I don't have the wow factor for it, but I think it's a pretty decent song. And I feel like it's because Molta is honestly always underrated at the original, I feel like they're maybe not getting the attention that they actually need. Because I think the song, if it was sent from a lot of other countries, they would be a flaw for this entry. Um, so I feel like it's a little bit underrated. I think those a little bit underrated. Um, but also it's not so behind my list either. But yeah. Okay, we'll just match into uh, the vision music video for Sara Bonici's song Loop, which is of course is representing Malta with at the Eurasian Song Contest 2024. Let's just talk about it. There are definitely a few small changes to the backing track. I don't think they were really big, but I feel like the small changes kind of made a difference. I mean, I haven't listened to the song much, but I could definitely still hear that the, there were some changes made, and I feel like they were an improvement overall. Uh, the music video was pretty cool. It was pretty sleek music video, nothing um, crazy about that, but I do, oh, I love the imagery uh, in her in that suit in the end, with like all the like stripes around that looks so 
cool. I feel like Wenzel's a little bit underrated. Like this, like when he gets to the live stage in Malmö, we're gonna have the red line, we're gonna have the amazing dancing, we're gonna have the choreo. It's gonna be a moment. But she is having a lot of direct competition this year. There, there are like a few, like pretty many like up tempo girl bops. You know, we have Colleen, we have Nutsa Buzalatsa from Georgia, we have Cyprus, Sila Capsis, we have honestly Slovenia's Raven kind of put in that category. Um, then of course Malta herself. We have Luxembourg also someone to put in that box. So there's just kind of a lot of songs in this kind of bunch this year. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see who wins that battle. But um, I think the entry is fine. The song is just not a wow factor for me. But I do think that maybe when I listen to it now more with the studio track on my Spotify, it will actually maybe be a song that I'm going to be putting higher on my ranking. But um, that was, of course, just what I think. What do you think about Malta's entry for Eurovision 2024? Please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, you should have a blast until I see you next time. Bye-bye.